The Ford Mustang is an iconic American muscle car that has been turning heads since its debuted in 1964. Over the years, the Mustang has undergone numerous transformations and upgrades, but the Mach 2 Mustang concept is one of my favorites. This high-performance concept car was introduced in 1967 and was designed to be faster, sleeker and more powerful than any Mustang that had come before it. This is one of those sad stories where the car got killed off before it even got a chance to prove itself. It's hard to believe that it's been almost six decades since the Mustang Mach 2 concept was first unveiled, yet its legacy continues to fascinate automotive enthusiasts. The Mach 2 remains one of the most significant what-ifs in American automotive history, a concept that aimed to redefine sports car design and showcase Ford's engineering prowess. But before we talk about the Mach 2, we first have to talk about the car that started it all, the original Mustang. The original Mustang was unveiled to the public on April 17, 1964 at the New York World's Fair. The Mustang was an instant hit and became an automotive icon giving birth to the exciting pony car segment. The first generation was powered by a 4.3 litre V8 that produced just over 160 horsepower. And even though six generations have been produced since its first debut, the first generation continues to be a favorite among petrol heads, even in an era of obscenely powerful stangs. The first generation, which spanned from the second half of 1964 to 1973, was the most diverse in terms of overall imp improvements and available options. But it was also the most diverse when it came to concept cars. From the mid-engine Mach 2 that we are looking at today, to the shorty two-seater, the Beethoven Design 2 Plus 2, or the spectacular Milano. Now, with the Mach 2, Ford completely abandoned the successful front-engine rear-wheel drive recipe and targeted a sports car segment with the GT40-inspired mid-engine design. The Mach 2 concept was a testament to Ford's ambition and, and determination to push the boundaries of sports car design. It was created to explore the platform's potential behind the pony car segment and research the feasibility of a somewhat affordable two-seater sports car that borrowed existing tech as well as design cues from the widely popular Mustang. The goal was to create a product that would convince sports car enthusiasts to refrain from buying a Chevrolet Corvette and choose the similarly priced Ford instead. To achieve this, the design and engineering team were instructed to develop a road car that would not only look and perform better, but also have the potential to be converted into a race car that would abide by the FIA Group 3 and SCCA production regulations. After several months of intense work, the advanced concept department created a mid-engine two-seater chassis mock-up as well as a full-size clay model based on the sketches done by Eugene Bordiant. Everything got presented to the company's decision makers who loved the design and the ideas, so they greenlit the program for the next phase. Next, they had to go from sketches and mock-ups to actual functioning parts, so Ford's Skunk Works partner Carcraft was contracted to develop a functional chassis that would prove the feasibility of the mid-engine design. Built around a 1966 Mustang convertible chassis, which got chosen for its extra reinforcements. The feasibility car featured an independent rear suspension designed by Ford's engineering wizard Klaus Arning and a 289 cubic inch 4.7 litre V8 which got mated to a 4-speed transaxle. After completing a full-size fiberglass body shell, the team behind the project decided not to use it on the feasibility car. Instead, they focused on the rolling chassis with modified panels, defining the shape of future prototypes. Eventually, attention shifted to the 1967 Mustang platform, leading to the creation of two fully functional prototypes. The first prototype, painted red, was intended for production, and compared to the feasibility car, it had a chassis with several modifications, including a redesigned front end, which allowed for a small spot storage compartment. The prototype also received a full fiberglass body, with a front end resembling the Corvette and the rear combining elements of the GT40 and the Lola T70. The second prototype, dubbed the Styling Car, boasted a radical design that included a unique front end and rear spoiler that extended into the taillights, giving it a sleek profile. The car was painted in a striking metallic blue hue that caught the eye of many visitors at the 1967 Chicago Auto Show. The car's showcase generated a lot of buzz and it received positive reviews from critics, making it one of the most anticipated cars at the show. 
Now both cars were tested and after months of rigorous testing, both vehicles were put through their paces. But the outcome was anything but satisfactory. The Mach 2 streetcar seemed to have good handling, but it struggled with extensive body roll when driven at high speeds, leading to significant understeer. The situation wasn't any better for the race car, as the chassis would not be strong enough to withstand the heavy loads, causing it to be distorted. But Ford didn't just throw in the towel. The Mach 2B, an improved version of the first two cars, was proposed for full production in late 1967, after the initial shortcomings were resolved. Ford considered starting production of the Mach 2 in 1969 and even contracted A.O. Smith Corporation in Michigan to assemble the car and manufacture its fiberglass body. However, these plans were ultimately scrapped. Then, in 1967, they tried again. This time, they aimed to use the Delta platform of the upcoming 1970 Maverick rather than the Mustang chassis. It featured a redesigned body with dual headlights and was said to be powered by the mighty Boss 429 Big Block V8. The addition of an automatic transmission to the option list would have made it even more appealing. Despite this excitement surrounding the Mach 2B, it also never made it into production. Now, despite the promising start of the Mustang Mach 2, the program was ultimately cancelled and the prototypes were destroyed. The reasons for this remain unclear, but it is believed that the Mach 2's mid-engine layout would have made the production too expensive, and Ford executives were not convinced that it would sell enough units to justify the investment. Nevertheless, the Mach 2 remains a fascinating what-if and a testament to Ford's engineering and ambition. This call makes me think of yet another mid-engine Ford that got cancelled, Project GN34, and I made an entire video on that car as well, so if you like this video, you are sure to like that one as well. So after this one, go and watch that one, yeah. But let me know what you guys think of the video, if you guys liked it, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and if you did like it, you'll like all of my other stuff, so just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like, I'll check you guys in the next one, cheers I.